was good, my Lions fans, man. Shout out to the uh, Lakers. They they won a chip, but uh, I don't mess with Alex Caruso. He lost me some money tonight. And then he going to go on the podium shirtless like he a boss. Bro, you lost me some money. Luckily, I came up in other areas. But uh, this is a Lions video about Lions fans crying over Travis Full. And my boy Man Beast Wars made a video, and I gotta tell all y'all, y'all all tripping and y'all all wrong. Y'all don't know what the hell y'all talking about. Man Beast, first off, I don't know what problem you have with Jamal Agnew, but Jamal Agnew is a playmaker. Jamal Agnew is, what, top three in punt and kick returning right now? I don't know what he was after this week, but last week, Jamal Agnew, the best punt returner in the league and the best kick returner in the league. He's a gadget player, so he's going to get gadget plays. Uh, Marvin Hall got to get in where he fit in. He don't get more snaps than Cephas. Cephas gets more snaps than both of them. Now, Travis Fulgham. Let's break this down. As you know, I'm always right, right about wide receivers. As y'all know, I hang my hat on that. I knew he was going to be solid. But the thing is, he couldn't make the damn team. I don't want Lions fans butt hurt, hurt over a nigga that couldn't make the team. You say, the Lions don't got this great talent. and Bro, we have a top 10 wide receiver core. You can go to PFF. You don't fuck with them? Go to NFL.com. Don't fuck with them? Go to ESPN. And when they rate the top 10 receiving course, the Lions are already in there. So the Lions didn't need fucking bum-ass Travis Fulgham who couldn't make a damn catch when he was wide open with the team. This is my thing. I like Fulgham that he's doing well. I'm glad he found a home. But he wasn't going to do shit here but get water for, for uh, Kenny Galladay and Marvin Jones. Now you're talking about Amendola. Look, I don't even like Amendola. I didn't want him on this team, but Amendola is better than Fulgham. Amendola can run routes, and he's clutch. We got to stop overreacting. Fulgham had one fucking game. Now y'all want to act like this man is a household name. He ain't shit. Let me see him do this shit consistently. Let Fulgham go out here, get 800 yards and 8 touchdowns, and then I'll say maybe we messed up. But no, the fuck we didn't. Why the fuck we didn't mess up? Because we got Marvin Jones, you got Kenny Galladay, you got Danny Amendola, you got TJ Hawkinson. What the fuck you need Fulgham for? Huh? You got Marvin Hall, our deep threat. Fulgham couldn't make this team. Hear me, man, beast. Quintet Cephas outplayed the living fuck out of this nigga, along with Marvin Hall, and he couldn't make the team and got cut. Quintet Cephas, hear me. He gonna be better for us. Then whatever Travis Fulgham could have did. I don't want to hear this. Marvin Jones was going to leave. And Fulgham could have been our second receiver. Nigga, what? Nigga, Fulgham is not no... For, look, Fulgham is not a one or a two on any fucking team with good receivers. He's only a one or a two when you a team like the Eagles with a bunch of trashes at receiver. Fulgham is a third at best. He'll never be Marvin Jones, bro. These guys can run routes. These guys have speed. Something Fulgham doesn't have. And I think Cephas is better. And I don't think it was a place where, like, bro, if you can't even make the team with our wide, like, the Lions have one of the best wide receiver cores in the entire league. If you can't make our team, the fuck? This is what I don't get. Lions fans think. So, this was so funny to me. It's like, y'all don't think. Y'all don't think. Oh, we could have had Fulgham when we leave. When we miss Galladay and Marvin Jones is leaving. Bro. The Lions lost Calvin Johnson. What we do? Get Marvin Jones and got Anquan Bowden. In free agency, the Lions hit on receivers. We needed some other people. What do we do? Go get Golden Tate. You don't need no fucking Travis Fulgham. You can go out, get your receiver in free agency, or you can go out and draft you another receiver. And you have Quintez Cephas. And you have TJ Hawkinson. And you still do have Kenny Galladay on this team. And best believe, best believe, best believe. If Kenny G doesn't end up on this team, we definitely will find a replacement, not fucking Travis Fulgham. And it's not a Fulgham attack video. But y'all gotta stop acting like this man is a stud because he had 10 catches, 152 yards. And you, you said, man, beast, show me when Cephas has 10 catches and 152 yards. Well, Cephas is a fourth receiver on the team. Guess what? Show me Travis Fulgham rookie numbers. Shit. He was ass, bro. Just accept it. He was ass, and he couldn't make the team. How are you gonna feel bad about a nigga that couldn't make the team? We we gotta we gotta stop with this overrating these players. Y'all wanna hype up Travis Fulgham, man? Beast? Well, the season gonna continue. Like I said, when the rest of them receivers come back, that boy is giving you four catches, forty yards a game. 
Because he ain't nothing special. Shout out to what he's doing with the Eagles because he's getting opportunity. The NFL is about opportunity. How many stories do we hear? This player got hurt. This guy got inserted in, and now he's the guy. It's happened so many times. The Eagles had to lose all of their receivers, five receivers, to even think about bringing in Travis Fogel. And the Packers didn't even want him. But it's the Lions' fault for not keeping a guy that wasn't better than Quintez Cephas and Robin Hall. And that's what y'all not getting. The nigga wasn't better than his competition. But guess what? Over there in Philly, he don't got no competition, bro. That's why he can shine. Stop it with the bullshit. Stop it with the Agnew hate. That man is a fucking playmaker. Marvin Hall isn't fucking faster than Agnew. What the hell are you talking about? Agnew, the reports during training camp, if you paid attention, Agnew was the fastest player on the entire team, and it wasn't close. Agnew is still fast. Agnew is a playmaker. Every time Agnew touched the ball, he gets positive yards, and he gets first downs. Agnew is not out there running complex routes. You saying he can't get open. He's only running simple routes. He's not running complex route. Agnew is open, but Stafford is hurting a lot of these receivers, man. Agnew is out there to be a distraction. He's out there to be a gadget player. That's why we have him, to use his speed, to use his playmaking ability or the ball in his hands. You say he can't catch. How can he not catch? What passes is he dropping? How can he not catch? What are you talking about? He can't catch. He's a solid guy for what we need. And there's plenty of other teams that use players like Agnew in the same way. And a guy like Travis fucking Fogel ain't beating out Agnew because Agnew plays three fucking positions. And he's great at punt and kick returning. Couldn't beat out Marvin Hall. That's his fucking fault. Marvin Hall is our deep threat. And you couldn't beat out any Danny Amendola. Bro, you, like, come on, bro. It ain't the Lions' fault for not signing a dude that wasn't good enough to make the damn team. Y'all gotta stop. For example, if Isaac Nada goes out and fucking balls, that's the Lions' fault now? Oh, that's our fault now. He couldn't make our damn team. He wasn't good enough for our tight end core, who got the big boys over there. Our receiving core is the best unit on the damn team. Bruh, he couldn't make the cut. Stop it with this dumb shit. Every time a player plays great, Lions fans want to do Woulda, shoulda, coulda, and all of this. What if Travis Fogelman is not no stud? He's not going to be a star receiver in this league. He's a third-tier receiver. That's what he is. And I would have loved him on our team as that. He, there's no way he could ever replace Marvin Jones. Stop the craziness. When the Eagles get their receivers back, we'll see what he's doing. But that's my re response to that. Y'all got to stop overreacting to these small things. It's your boy, 313J Mo, man. Whew. And uh, Amir Abdullah. How you doing, bro? <laughs> I just had to do that, man. I'm out.